So what's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different other than uh, just your normal cutting video showing you how to cut a cab. Today I'm going to show you something that's very easy that pretty much anybody can do with basic tools such as something like a, a Dremel tool or a Fordham um, or even one of the little Harbor Freight grinders and uh, some simple diamond bits. And uh, what we're going to be doing is basically taking a... Uh, a four die cab. Now you can do this with any cabs. You can do this even with a, a piece of stone, you know, a stone cab, cabochon if you want. Um, and uh, we're going to make a very simple pendant. We're not going to get into any type of bezel setting or anything like that. It's something that your average cab artist should be able to do very easily where they could turn their cabs into cash and expand their market so they're not just selling cabs at jewelry artists where they can sell little pendants on their own because there's a lot of people that, that you see, I'm sure, at the shows or however you market your cabs that uh, they end up buying, you know, a cabochon, but they always look for somebody to make something out of it for them. So this is a little way to kind of cross market your stuff and uh, make a little bit of money. So without further ado, here we go. All right, uh, so we're over here on, uh, on the bench. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to take two uh, cabochons here. Here's one actually that... Uh, was made in the previous video uh, yesterday. And uh, just another one. Here. And uh, we're going to take these and turn these into simple simple pendants. Now, like I said, um, you know, with the right bits, if you're using diamond, you can do it with, you know, even a hard, you know, hard stone like this. Um, you could do it with softer stones. Uh like the Charolite up here, um, pretty much any kind of cabochon that you want. Um, we're not going to get too elaborate. I'm going to uh, just show you something basic that I that I use and I sell probably about how I don't, I don't know. I'd say maybe twenty to to thirty of these a month. Um, I really don't try to uh, you know to to push them that much, um, but uh, you know they they sell very well and they're very easy to make. It's something that anybody can do. So basically, we have our, our two cabs, and like I said, we're not going to get elaborate. And uh, we actually have some small little settings in here, which I'll show you in a minute, that we're going to use. Or you can use, that's a simple, another type of, a simple little bale. There's another design. And lastly, these. And basically... Uh, they're just two different designs, and uh, this really, these guys over here are more or less one design, and then this guy over here is just a little bit fancier. He has a leaf on the on the front of him, and uh, the difference between let's see if I can move my camera here. Um, the difference between these and these are basically just placement on uh, on a thicker piece like something like this. You know, I would always stick with with using these. And uh, with one that's, you know, about normal thickness here, um, I would stick with, well, really, you can use pretty much any any of them. So uh, here we go. Uh, one, one thing before I, I switch over here that I wanted to mention is basically what we're going to do with these is uh, we're going to take our, our cab slash bead and uh, we're going to drill basically just a simple hole using, a, here's a Fordham. Now, like I said, you can use any type of Dremel tool, um, any type of rotary tool that you have. And uh, you can use little diamond bits. These are actually small little carbide burrs, and they work well. I don't know if you can see. There we go. And uh, they work very well for uh, for drilling Fordite for doing stone. You would uh, just simply want to switch over, and you'd want to use, uh, you know, little diamond bits um, let's see here if I can move my camera. Something similar to, no, we actually don't have, I don't have anything up here that, uh, that's diamond that would be, but basically what you'd want to do is, uh, you'd want to use a, a little diamond bit that looks similar to this guy right here. So uh, let's uh, let's get drilling.
Okay, now that uh, now that we got the hole drilled here, as you can see, what I like to do is uh, come in and actually put a small little chamfer um, around the edge of the hole just to clean it up and make it look a, you know, a little bit nicer. But uh, we're still keeping it simple here. And uh, basically, what we're gonna use is gonna use this little carbide bit. And if you notice how this is tapered. When this goes into, let's see here, we can make sure we get this a camera. Um, when this goes into the hole, what it's going to do is you don't want to go in far. You just want to lightly touch on it. And uh, what it'll do is it'll create more or less a little rim around the outside of the hole, which is also known as a chamfer. And it just makes it look cleaner. But once again, you don't want to go real deep. You just kind of want to touch in. Um, what you also can do, actually, depending on the piece. In fact, uh, why don't we try to do it here on this one? And uh, you can actually do this, depending, like I said, on the piece. Now, this is very soft stuff. Um, you can actually do this by hand. It's hard to try to hold the the camera here. And uh, Okay. That's more than enough. And... Uh, if you notice, see the little bevel going around the outside? That's uh, just a simple little chamfer. Um, so, next what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, get one of our, our little settings here. And uh, one of these little guys here. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to keep it simple. You can use several different adhesives um, to hold it in there. Now, um, of course, if you're doing stone, um, I would suggest using uh, 330 Jewelers Epoxy. Um, in fact, which looks like this. Um, but just for the sake of keeping it simple, um, but it also works great, actually. Now, it works great for using things like Fordite and some other materials, some other actual natural stones, uh, just some Loctite super glue. We'll hold that in there because it's, it's only this, uh, this little post right there. That little post hanging off is going to go into the hole and, uh, we're going to use, you know, whatever choice of adhesives that you like. Like I said, um, if you're going to do stone, use uh, it's 330. It's a two-part epoxy. And uh, you can just mix up two little drops with a uh, the hardener and the uh, the epoxy with a little toothpick on like a, you know, like a, a little piece of cardboard or whatever. And just all you need is a little dab. Um, I've been using the uh, the Loctite, um, given that it's super glue, and it's worked totally fine. So uh, here we go. Okay, and uh, we are done. I just let that dry for a couple minutes, and uh, there you have it. So uh, we basically, uh, if you check out the uh, the other video, um, it's uh, how to cut Fordite like a professional part two. Um, that'll actually show you the cutting process of uh, of this cabochon from all the way from rough to a slab to a polished cabochon. Um, and then, uh, of course, in this video, we uh we took it and turned it into a uh, a finished pendant. And I guess that about do it. If you have any uh questions or um you know or comments down below, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And uh if you could smash that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you once again for watching the Lapidary channel and you have a great day. Bye bye now.